And today we're taking a look at 8 channel 1080p 4 camera security system. And today's model is the IDEA 8 channel 1080p DVR 5500 TVL outdoor and indoor night vision CCTV security camera system. If you're interested in this particular system, I'm going to leave a link in the description. And this is what we get in the box. We get the owner's manual. We get the mouse and a nice looking one at that. We get a remote control. We get a power brick for the DBR. We get four rows of BNC cable, which are the ones that are going to provide video and power to our cameras. We get a four way power splitter, which is a definite plus because that means with one power supply, we could power up four cameras. We get four screws for the hard drive and a jumper. We also get the power supply for the cameras. And we also get four sets of anchors and screws to mount the cameras. We also get four sets of cameras, which holding in my hand, you can tell is well constructed. It's fully made of metal. It can be used indoor and outdoor. It provides you 1080p resolution. It has a one third color CMOS sensor, and it does provide great image quality, which is great especially being HD, you can easily recognize faces. And that is one of the most important things when choosing a surveillance system. Each camera by loosening the screws, you can swivel and rotate to all sides to get the best camera angle for your location. It does also provide you with a metal camera cover on the top, which you can also loosen the screw and give it the best position according to your need. And that's a good feature because it protects it more from the elements. This is a wired system. So all cameras have BNC inputs at the end. And now we get to the DVR. It's an eight channel system, which provides you continuous recording, intelligent recording, time schedule, motion detector, color in the day, and black and white at night. This particular system does not come with a hard drive, but in this video, we're gonna show you how to do that. And if you're interested in finding a hard drive, I'm also gonna leave a link on the description. Let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. And we do that by unloosening the screws on the sides and on the back, which is four in total. Once we do that, we go ahead and remove the top. And our goal is to match the cables from the DVR to the entry of the hard drive. In this case, this system is a SATA version, which makes it a lot easier because there's only one way to connect it. Now that we connected the cables, now we want to flip the DVR over and using the four screws provided, tighten the hard drive in place. Now that we've done that, now we could place the four screws back and the top to the DVR. Now we're ready to make our connections. As you can tell, we have eight inputs for the BNC cable. In our case, we only have four cameras. We're only going to install four. Now let's go ahead and test this bad boy out. We connect the power. And the method of installing the BNC cable is finding the groove and then twisting, which is going to create a secure lock. And we want to do that for all four systems. Mm -hmm. 
After connected the BNC cables, now we would choose our preferred way to view the system, either HDMI or VGA. In our case, we're going to use HDMI. And we also have RCA connections in case you don't have VGA or HDMI. Now we connect our mouse. And if you want your system to be connected to the internet so you can access it on a tablet, smartphone, or PC, now we connect the ethernet cable. But also, you don't need to. And now finally, we're gonna connect the power cable. And now, let's get this bad boy online and test it out. So the first thing we get is the IDEA welcome screen. Once we turn on the system, the system automatically formats the hard drive, which is a definite plus. That means that we don't have to do it manually. And the second screen we get is a configuration wizard. And this is the one that's gonna let us configure the system. Then we get the system login. In this case, because we haven't changed the password, you can hit okay. If in the future you wanna change the password, you could do that on the system. Now on the second screen, this is the screen where you're going to choose your time zone, the system time, the date format, the language that you want your system to use in an everyday basis. Now on the next screen, we're going to have the network. If you decided to connect the ethernet cable, then you will have green letters. If you get a red error message and you chose not to connect the ethernet cable, then it's okay. If you connected the ethernet cable and still get the error message, then hit network and verify that the DHCP is enabled and then press the retry button. If you chose not to use the internet feature, now you can skip all the way to the end. If you are using the internet feature, you can go ahead and get your cell phone or smartphone and we do this to install the app. You can read the QR code from the screen using your smart device, either from the Apple Store or the Play Store. If not, you could just download it directly, which is called the XMI. Once we have installed the app, we log in, hit the plus button, name our system, press the QR code icon, and scan the next QR code on the next page. Once we do that, we're going to have the ability to look at all the cameras at once, or you can individually click on them and watch them individually. You can either zoom in or zoom out, and this makes it a great feature to have on the go, either from your home office or from anywhere with an internet connection. But if you don't have a smart device, you can also access the system via PC. I'm also going to leave a link on the description for the program to download. Now we can hit next on the DVR. As you can tell, we get very crisp images and you have the ability to look at each camera individually or one by one. Also, by clicking on the screen, you can set up your recording times or schedule. And you can also set the system to record only when it detects motion. And that does save a lot of space on the hard drive. By going to playback, you can verify what's been recorded on your system. And in the same way, check all four cameras or one camera at a time. On the menu, by enabling the motion detect, you can choose where exactly you want the system to activate depending on the motion. And you do that by choosing the squares on the screen. And here is some HD footage of the surveillance system. As you can tell, we get great video quality, 1080, very crisp. Overall, it's a good system. You do get the internet feature, which means you can access it from anywhere in the world. You can have it on the go. 
you have 1080p recording, 1080p resolution, which is a definite plus, and you have night vision and motion detection, which is very important in any system. Don't forget, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. That really helps. If you have any questions, place them in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe, follow us on social media. Thank you for watching. And here's a link to our latest video.